Welcome to this lesson on GCSE spellings. So there are certain methods that we can use for learning tricky spellings for us to remember how to spell certain words. If we're writing a text, um, there are often times where we write a word but we're not quite sure how to spell a word. Now, um, to be able to spell the word correctly, we can look up um, words in a dictionary to check their spellings because dictionaries work on the alphabet principle for each word finding words becomes easier with practice so you can work find the words in alphabetical order uh, but at the same time to learn a, a spelling word or a tricky spelling word the best thing to do is uh, to look to say to cover to write and then check and this is a pretty successful method when it comes to learning spelling words. Because remember, a lot of these words are going to be coming up again and again. So it's handy to actually memorize these spelling words, especially the words that you find hard. So try writing a crazy but memorable sentence using each letter of the word. Um, this is called a mnemonic. So take, for example, the word believe. Now, if you're not sure how to spell the word believe, now this is just an example because you may already know the spelling. We can use what we call a mnemonic to help us remember how to spell the word believe. So we could go for certain words that will help us remember how we spell believe. So for example here um, we have big for B, elephants elephant for E, and vases for V and E for everywhere. So this mnemonic gives you a clue how to spell the word believe. And you can use mnemonics if you like to help you uh, remember the spelling of certain words and methods. Um, use the sound of words to help you spell them first of all. So work your way through each syllable uh, as you aim to spell the word. This works for many words and is always worth trying before using other words. For uh, tricky plural endings, follow the rules in five, six, and seven. So if a noun ends with a Y and it has a letter such as a T, R, or N before, uh, before that, you need to add IES to the plural. So example, our diary, which ends in Y, just get rid of the Y and place IES at the end. Curry, for example, ends with Y, get rid of Y and place IES at the end. Okay, so you've got various uh, methods of spelling words correctly. You, you can use vowels, for example. Um, you can proofread your work as well at the end and double check. And also remember that certain words belong to word families. So, and these word families are very, very similar in nature in terms of how they're spelled. So you can use this particular method as well. So have a good read of this particular passage on spellings in detail and then you can answer the questions thereafter and use certain techniques from this passage to be able to answer the questions. Good luck and take care.